I'm really excited about this. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it's Happy New Year episode, and so I wanted to give gold, I wanted to give glamour, I wanted to give, uh, and, and here we are. Nervous. I don't know what the hell they're doing back there. <laughs> Well, they're having a lot of fun, so we like that. Happy New Year from everyone here at Cooking's a Drag. It has been my absolute pleasure sharing with you some of my favorite skills and techniques that I use throughout my kitchen daily. Now to bring in 2023, I thought I would show you how to make the greatest party cocktail of all, the French 75. But before we get mixing, let's introduce to you our final queen of the kitchen, Callista Stage. Happy New Year! Mwah. Happy New Year, everyone. She made it. She's fabulous. <laughs> well, Calista, thank you so much for joining us. You look stunning. Thank you so much. As always. I mean, look at this. This is beauty and elegant stuff. <laughs> yes, it is, and it does not come easy. <laughs> I bet that <laughs> looks very uncomfortable. It is. It, is. it definitely is. <laughs> so today we're going to be making the French 75. Have you ever had one? I have not. It's a classic cocktail. It actually post-dates World War I, so it has been around for a while. Um, but today we're going to do it a little different. And of course, it's a New Year's cocktail. So we're breaking out the bubbly. I went ahead and I made a little lavender infused simple syrup. This is gonna give us a little extra floral note and just make our French 75 stand out from the rest. I love that, I love lavender. I actually spray my bed with lavender. Really? Yeah, the little... my, uh, my bar of soap is also lavender. Love that. Mm -hmm. So this drink is perfect for you. It's right up my alley. All right, Calissa, let's dive into it. Yay! The okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add 0.75 or three quarters of an ounce of our Hendrix gin. Mm -hmm. I love Hendrix. It doesn't have a super juniper berry flavor. It's a little lighter on the tongue. I'm not a huge gin fan, but Hendrix is amazing. I love a good gin. Ooh, I think I'm. Ooh, you did that it. Was close, Dive it in. Honey. Everything here, when I talk about cocktails, it's all about <laughs> taste. Oops. And if your taste is a little boozier, that's great. This is that. your cocktail. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our lemon juice. Okay. Now this is juice of about a half of a lemon. We've already squeezed it out. We can pop it on in I there. I love that you've done all the work because I don't wanna be cutting lemons with these nails on. I put no. my short nails on today. See what she went through to be here, guys? Short nails, you guys. We're gonna top it off with our house-made lavender simple syrup, yes. which we're gonna do about an ounce. Just eyeballing it there, I love it. That's great, it's all about making it your own. We're actually gonna dump that into our shaker glass. Give it a nice little pat on the top. It's not gonna break? It's not, girl. Are you sure? I hope not, just don't hit it that hard. And then we're gonna give it a nice shake. <laughs> you gotta get it nice and cold. You really wanna shake your cocktail until you see this frost forming on the outside of your shaker glass. That's a great way to know that it's about ready. It's frosty. We should get this in slow motion. You're just gonna take it right where the top of that frost line is. Uh -huh. You're just gonna give it a little. And it should come loose. Well up. Work. So we're not gonna pull okay. the glass all the way out. We're actually gonna use this as our strainer. Are you ready? Okay. Just hold it in there and dump right into our glass. Perfect. That's lovely. She's struggling. You got it. No, that's <laughs> perfect. Okay. That's amazing. Work. Now for the fun part. It's that wasn't the fun part? Pop some bottles, honey. Let's do it, honey. Are you ready? I'm gonna remove my cage here. Mm. All right. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's, everyone. Cheers. Cheers, honey. And then we're actually just gonna top it off with the champagne. It is New Year's after all. Yum. Now, do you fill it to the top or you just? I do, I'm a lush though, okay. so I fill everything to the top, honey. Now, a cocktail is not a cocktail, right? Without a garnish. <gasps> Garnisha. Yeah, Let's so while it. I'm cutting this lemon up, why don't you tell Cooking's a Drag where we can find you and what your 2022 was like. You can find me at, at Callista Stage on Instagram or Callista Stage on Facebook. Pretty much anywhere, Callista Stage. 
all over Los Angeles, all over West Hollywood, all over. Keep What's a your lookout. favorite bar in West Hollywood? Ooh, your performat. Don't curse me with that question. Oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say because it was kind of my like home bar, I did a really big competition there. I would say Mickey's West Hollywood. Love Mickey's. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was my first drag show that I went to when we moved to Los Angeles was at Mickey's. It's been our favorite bar ever since. Amazing. When I entered that competition at Mickey's West Hollywood and then won, my what? whole drag career kind of just skyrocketed. And I started to do things all over the place with all different it's types San of Diego, people. San Diego, where we met. San Diego, Phoenix just recently. Wow. I had a trip to New York planned coming up and also just building my own drag in general. Calista, my dear, here's your lemon oh, garnish. Let me put that here, whoops, whoopsie. Thank Boop. you very much. Oh, and of course, this is a lavender martini. Are we gonna light it on fire? Oh. We're, they're not that show, honey. Oh, okay. We need a little lavender. I love some pyrotechnics. Excellent. <laughs> I just love how lavender smells. I mean, I cannot get enough of it. Yeah. And now that it's in a drink, I just can't help mm. myself. Mm. Cheers and happy New Cheers, Year's, Calista. Darling. Happy New Year, everyone. Wow. Mm. You taste the citrus, the lemon, mm -hmm. the lavender kind of like sits on the back of your tongue a little bit. It just brings this floralness. Are you a gin drinker, typically? Mm-mm. I'm a rum drinker. You're a rum drinker? Mm-hmm. Clear rum, or are we talking spice Dark rum? Dark rum. Dark spicy rum. rum, yeah. That's you know, bringing me back to all my, like, college. Oh, oh! I grew up around lumberjacks. Oh, gosh. Our cameraman is drinking again. Again? They're all lushes here, I tell ya. So, Callista, what is on the horizons for 2023? Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you. So, Brian. Hey. Hi. Come on. Get back up here. You got this, baby. 2023, what's on the docket? I really want an explosive and just amazing skyrocketing 2023 filled with opportunities that I haven't had the chance to do yet. It is all coming. You're amazing, you're stunning, you're Thank beautiful. You. I don't know how you fit into that outfit, but it looks snatched, let me tell you. Thank you, it hurts. This is such a good episode, guys. It's so calming and... Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year.